Hey everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 52 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time we made a very long ways into Bowser's Keep, into the deep dark reaches, and we reached these six ultimate doors. And now we're going to take on a few more of them, if not all the rest of them. And I feel like I forgot to mention something in the last episode, but I can't quite remember. I can't quite think of what it was. I think I mentioned everything I wanted to. I mentioned that, like, if you have Bowser in the party, then sometimes enemies will be confused or run away, right? I think so. Mm. And that's really all that's noteworthy in that area. Other than that, it's pretty much just your standard battalion of enemies. Nothing big. All right, let's try door number five. And oh boy, this is going to be a long hallway just full of battles. And this first one's against the Goo Goomba figures. Basically, this is going to be just a big bunch of battles against all the enemies that you've seen before, or at least against a lot of the enemies that you've seen before. It's kind of like the Pit of a Hundred Trials of this game. Bowser's mood has affected the monster. There you go. I think I showed that off in the last episode, but I can't quite remember. Thorn it. Man, these Goombas are still using, like, even though they're Goo Goombas, they have, like, their s the first syllable of their name repeated. They have the exact same attacks as normal Goombas, go figure. So, since we've already seen all these enemies before, I'm going to just go ahead and go hyper speed on this port on this part, and I will see you at the end. So, enjoy the music, my friends. I think that's the end. Yup, there we go. And we get the Star Gun, which, as you might have guessed, it is Geno's ultimate weapon. Very handy. It raises his attack from 189 to 201. So that's an attack raise of, I think... Oh my god, I have... <laughs> 12, 12, okay. That's pretty good. So, definitely pick that up for Geno if you can, because I think the doors are always randomized every time. 
So there's no telling what's going to be behind what door and if you're going to get the thing that you want behind that door. And let's try door number three. What awaits us? And what is this? This is interesting. Hey, hey, hey! It's me, the quiz master, and it's quiz time! Could have made the obvious Fat Albert joke there, but I decided not to. So this is a quiz, and might is Dinah's what? Uh, little brother. Second cousin. How many underlings does Croco have? Too many. Three. What is the name of Jagger's sensei? Dinky! Jinx. What is the fourth se selection on the menu screen? That would be equips. How many legs does a Wiggler have? Six. What is the full name of the boss of the sunken ship? Jesse James Jones. No, Jonathan Jones. What's the name of the chef's name? What's the chef's name at Marymore? Uh, Tort. What does the Red Essence do? Uh, relieves back pain. <laughs> oh, I wish. Gives you strength. That was easy. Those questions are random every time, by the way, so don't pay attention to my answers unless you happen to get those same questions. Those questions can actually get a bit harder. Hey, let's see how well you can count. Give you ten seconds. By the way, I love how this guy's name is Dr. Topper. It's hilarious. Ten. Give you ten seconds. Ten. Tell me the number of barrels in the room. Hey, close your eyes for a sec. Hold on. Before I do that, what basically this is, is you have to count the barrels, but you can't just count the ones that you can see on the surface. You have to take into account that it's isometric. And those barrels will go all the way to the back corner. So, for instance, there's like one that you can't see right now, buried way in the back. But you have to take that one into account. So, probably multiplication is the best way to get through this. And yes, I'm ready. Okay. So, 6, uh, 12, 11, 13, 14. There we go. Pretty sure that's right. 14. Yep. And that's just the warm up, unfortunately. There's one more. And it ain't pretty. Just wait for this one, folks. Here we go. And 20 seconds, go! Oh my god. Okay, uh, 12, 24, 36, 35, wait, 36, 40, 44? That's what I got. Dude, I even got that before 10 seconds elapsed. Just barely before 10 seconds, but still before. Okay. Tell me 44 is at least an option. I'll be so ashamed if it's not. Yes, it is. 44. Booyah! And this next one is quite infamous for being very, very difficult. Now for something completely different. <laughs> Boo, Goo, Bones, and Kip competed in a triathlon. The triathlon included swimming. Oh, I forgot my voice room. The triathlon included swimming, cycling, and a marathon. It's up to you to guess which place each person came in. Listen well, you're only going to hear the story once. So, just like he says, you're going to hear each of their clues, and you're supposed to, by the power of deduction and mathematics and stuff, deduce which one came in first, second, third, and fourth. But there is a little bit of a trick that I kind of invented, I think, that I like to use to win this. So we're gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate that here. This guy's like, I came in third for swimming, and he ends with an ellipses there. That kind of indicates, like that ellipses and just the tone overall that he's not very happy with the place that he came in. Plus, the, the sentence is very short, so he seems rather depressed about the whole situation. I'm going to guess he came in last. And that pretty much shows off my strategy right there, is that you want to read the text like between the lines, kind of see the tone that they're talking to you from, even though they're not actually talking, and try to deduce from that like how excited they are about the place that they came in. And judge, judging by that, you can tell which place they came in. And I forgot to start my timer back up. Oh my god. Okay. I fell into fourth place during the bike race, but I finally ended up in the same place as I did in the swimming event. So, he sounded depressed in the first part, because he's like, I came in last for the biking. But then, he came back, and he sounds excited about that, or at least really somewhat happy about it, because he's like, I finally ended up in the same place. So, he seems a l quite thrilled with his awesome comeback. I'm going to put him in second place, so we've got fourth and second so far. I placed the same in the swimming and cycling events, but two others beat me in the marathon. Alright, he's, so he's kind of nulin par to the whole situation. So, based on his neutrality, I'm going to say he probably came in third, which means you came in first, maybe? I outrode Goo on my bike, and Goo was never able to pass me. With an exclamation point. So he sounds overly thrilled. He's freaking over the moon about this dude. So... I think I've got my order now. First is Kip, second is Goo, 
third is Bones, and fourth is Boo. And that kind of makes a little bit of a poem or something. Because Boo rhymes with Goo. Call me the master. The quiz master, that is. I'm going to steal your title. Okay. So we've got Kip first. Then we've got Goo. Then we've got Bones. And finally, we've got Boo. And that should just do it. And that's the right order. Yep. Here we go. Let's hope. Boo! Yeah! I love that little ding sound. You may proceed to claim our rock candy. Awesome. And what will we draw for that? Bracer. Never going to use one of those bracers ever. You know, I really should just start using like these red essences and things because I'm going to not need them pretty soon any anymore here. Alright, so we've got three more doors to choose from. I'm going to pick door number two. Let's see what this is. Oh, more battles. Crap. Uh, I kind of want to do the other action one, but oh well. This will have to do. So, for the second time in one episode, I hate to do this to you, but we're going to do uh, hyperspeed. But one thing I really want to mention quick that I was kind of noticing in my last few battles with this is that I kind of looked at the carpet a little bit here that we're battling on. And the design, at first it didn't seem like anything special to me. It's like, oh, that's a cool design. But as I look closely into it, it looks kind of like there's like two faces there. And they're interjoined at like the mouth or something. Uh, okay, let me try to explain re my reasoning behind this. And what's going on through my head right now. Because you guys are probably just like, what the hell is he talking about? So look at like the middle, the diamond in the middle. That's kind of like the mouth where the two faces meet. And then those like four trapezoidal kind of shapes that are around them. Those are like giant the those are like the giant bug eyes of the faces or something. And so one of them is like upside down and the other one is right side up, obviously. Ooh, Peach, uh, will give you attack power, whatever. And so in that carpet, if we can just get back into a battle here, it looks like the faces are just they're just kinda like shocked and they're like staring at you this whole time. And along with like the statues in the background that are staring at you, that makes me feel like Smithy is just watching you all this time. And I guess it would make sense because he's a giant freaking sword in the sky and he's just, I don't know, staring at everything, I guess. Ain't nothing he can't see from his vantage view. Vantage point, I mean. So, I doubt that was meant to be symbolic and that's probably just me being a complete psychopath or something. And oh my god, cannons. These things look deadly. And oh, by the way, there's the star gun since I didn't really mention it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Wondrous. Astounding. Alright, didn't I say I was putting this to music or something? Sorry for my little rant on like, oh, Smithy's watching you the whole time. Booga booga booga. Okay. And to the music we go.
And here we go. This is the final battle against, well, in this battle trial area anyways. This is the Chester, and I need FP, because I wanted you to jump on him. Oh, well, I'll just attack him like normal for now. I have Toad still restore the FP, because that's what she's good for. I mean, she is the woman, after all. I'm not, I'm kidding, I'm not that sexist. We'll just use the honey syrup for now, because, I mean, we have it, why not use it? And, monsters are inside, and this is the Bahamut. If you can name what Final Fantasy game that's from, then you rock. Of course, in that game, I think it's also spelled with one less T, so it's like Bahamut with one T at the end. Why didn't I use my super jump on this guy when I... <laughs> Never mind. Flame wall. Uh-oh. Well, he certainly looks like something that would be using flame wall. Big fat hook tail ass dragon. Hook, hook tail esque is what I meant to say, not hook tail ask. Uh, oh, Mario's like freaking shaken or something. He's shaken bake. So we'll just have him attack like normal for now. Whatever. I think Chester's almost dead, anyways. Oh, uh, hell, let's use the firebomb. I doubt it's going to do much to the Bahamut there, but. Oh, zero to both of them? Wow, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, okay, warp the thing around Gino, like Photoshop. Mega Recover, damn it! You suck. 320? Okay, I'm gonna try Ultra Jump on his ass. Here we go. Yeah, for some reason I thought this was actually just gonna attack Chester, because I didn't, I, I kinda didn't remember that the Bahama was still there. Even though it's big, fat, and red, and stupid. Did I mention ugly? Hey, ha, oh, you missed. Do I missed? That's my voice for the Bahamut, by the way. Yay, he's dead. He's dead. He's really, really dead. Are you done yet, my friend? My copious friend? That's not how you use the word copious. What am I doing? And there he goes. That is the end of the battle trials. Now, 200 coins. Booyah. And Mario reaches level 22. Highlight of my day right here. Oh, and Mal reaches level 22. Awesome. Mal, you can get special. Just because. Because you're special, Mallow. In a good way. Now we've got the Drill Claw, which is Mallow's ultimate weapon. No, it's Gino's ultimate weapon, you silly goose. So, we'll equip that right to him right there. 194, not that we'll ever use Bowser too much. I might use him in a few battles here and there. Just because it's like the end of the game and it's his castle and everything. And right here... Oh my god, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna fall. Mario, you're gonna die. Oh my god, die. Mario, you're dead. We're dead. Oh, never mind. We're just at a save point here. Which is where I think I'm going to end this video off, actually. So... Right here, at this point of seemingly no return, we are going to end off this video. And, I don't know, it feels like it's been kind of a rush through Bowser to keep, but I think I've done fairly well with it. So, next time we will take on whatever's through that door, and who knows, maybe if we get a chance we'll go back and do those other doors of trials. Or the ultimate doors. Yep, so, thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix, making you dizzy. Thank you. And good night.